Hello, folks. <laughs> this is Bubba, the Jewish redneck prepper. Back at you again for another video. Folks, what I got before you, nobody has to guess what these are. These are five-gallon buckets. You may say, well, what is that nutcase up to now with two five-gallon buckets? Well, folks, today I would like to talk with you about these five-gallon buckets and how they could be used in survival type situations, how they could be used in um, prepping. These five gallon buckets, they hold a lot of storage. Now let me see, one's kind of clean, the other's kind of dirty. I would separate the two here. One bucket would hold like uh, dry goods and food. That's right folks, you can uh, Use these buckets to uh, in your preps to store food. You can uh, like take, let's say for an example, like uh, black eyed peas. Go to these dollar stores and buy black eyed peas, uh, beans, rice. I would definitely say prep with beans and rice. And these, you'd be surprised about how much beans and rice you can get in one of these five gallon buckets. I mean. Beans and rice, they're only the cheap when they're dry. And what I would suggest before uh, packing uh, anything in these five gallon buckets, make sure they're clean. Cleaned out real good, like this uh, one on the right hand side. And uh, if you're going to use them to store uh, food, especially like dry goods like beans, rice, peas, you know, a lot of stuff you could even still buy at the grocery store. I would say. Uh, buy mylar bags. You can uh, find them on the uh, internet. You can get uh, mylar bags in different sizes. You can get them in pint, half pint, quart, you know, and ga even up to gallons, you know. And buy you a, a, a sealer, okay, and then some oxygen absorbers. You know, divide up however you want it in small quantities like a uh, a half a pint or even up to a, to a gallon whatever you're going to store and uh, learn how to use the sealer on these mylar bags and uh, before you seal it uh, use oxygen absorbers and uh, pack these five gallon buckets and uh, put lids on them tighten them down and put them away for storage I mean your beans and rice will be good in storage for years and years to come you know, but always, let me r remind you, always put dates on your buckets, your Mylar bags, put uh, what you uh, have on the bags, the, the date you sealed it, um, what particular ingredient you got in there, if you're going to bag flour, or you're going to bag starch, you know, or you're going to dehydrate food and um, heat seal it in mylar bags, whatever you do, always put a date on it so you'll know when you, your date is, and if you start using it, rotate it in and out. Um, these buckets are good as uh, tool buckets, you know, you can put your tools and stuff like that. Uh, as a matter of fact, you can put clothes in them, use them as clothes containers, socks, shirts, underwear, you know, t-shirts, um, handkerchiefs, you know, you, you can use them as clothes, uh, buckets, uh, if just in case you had to load your car, you don't have suitcases or anything like that, these buckets can contain, hold just about anything, they're good to hauling water in, you know, to hold water, uh, these buckets are good for, uh, many things, like I said, you could use it as a tool bucket, um, Another thing is that um, these buckets, one bucket could be turned upside down, and you can actually make a water filter out of these buckets. And that's one thing I plan on doing and showing you how in another video. You know, take this bucket, and, you know, and uh, fill it with holes, put you some gravel down at the bottom, you know, like pebbles or gr gravel. Then you put you a, a layer of uh, light rock and then some sand or maybe you know charcoal of some kind and then some sand and maybe another layer of charcoal on top of that 
and make you a water filter. These buckets will come in real handy for making water filters. Another thing that uh, you might have seen, you might have seen them in sold in stores. They're they're table. I mean, they could be a, a stool to sit on. Turn them upside down. You got a, a good perfect seat to sit down on. As you already got <laughs> uh, um, a good holding t container, it can hold you for sitting down on. Uh, these containers are also good for uh, toiletry. That's right, toiletry. You can attach a seat to this <laughs> and let it uh, become a um, a toilet bucket. That's right. Fill it with a little bit of sand, you know. And you're in the wild, going camping or hiking, you know. You can use this bucket as a toilet. Um, you can uh, surely ask a lot of uh, truck drivers out there. I mean, that drive 18 wheelers. They uh. There are a lot of them that's got these buckets hidden on their trucks instead of trying to pull off on some kind of uh, um, rest area that's kind of hard with traffic and everything. They just pull off the side of the road on an interstate or on the side of the road, pull the bucket out <laughs> and use it. Now, that might sound kind of gross, and in a way it could be gross. But, I mean, there's a lot of truckers out there that do it, and trust me, I know. Because <laughs> once I was driving a truck myself. But, folks... This is just an idea I thought I would throw out there at you. These buckets, they're not really that expensive. And a lot of people say, well, where can I get them at? They sell them at Lowe's. They sell them at almost every hardware store. They sell them at Home Depot. They sell them at uh, Walmart. But, folks, I have to say, I don't ever recall... Of all the buckets I ever had in my lifetime, no matter what the use I had for them, that I had, I ever can recall me ever buying a bucket. Because there's too many people out there willing to throw buckets away. You can find them in dumpsters. A lot of times you can find them just laying on the side of the road. You know, if you scavenge for them, I'm sure you can find a lot of them just laying out in the woods somewhere. There's a lot of people that just don't want to use buckets, no matter what they can use them for. I mean, there's a lot of places like restaurants that's willing to give away buckets just for the asking. There's a lot of places like bakeries, bakeries and uh, stores that uh, have their frosting come in these buckets. Folks, there's a lot of people just giving these buckets away that have to go buy them. I'm sure if you look around and ask, you could find a lot of places where you can find these buckets like this to use. Okay, folks, well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I enjoy making it for you. If you like this video, then down in, hit like, comment, share, and subscribe to the U Redneck, Jewish Redneck Prepper YouTube channel, or join my Facebook page, Dumpster Divers for Prepping and Survival. Well, until the next time. My friends, I'm saying shalom and enjoy the journey. This is Bubba, the Jewish Redneck Prepper.